you can never complain about Fortnite ever again after tomorrow's update. They are introducing a permanent OG style of the game. You're gonna get old school POIs. It's gonna be a old school style map, smaller than what we're used to right now, but it's gonna have OG weapons. Some are speculating that it'll even have OG style animation, gameplay. And what you're gonna realize is that the state of Fortnite does not correlate to the state of your happiness, okay? The changes in Fortnite do not affect the changes in your life. The state of your misery is not because of Fortnite. It is in fact because of you. And I hope you realize that no matter what changes happen in Fortnite, it will not change your happiness, your mood, your life, your surroundings, anything, all of that is completely controlled by you. So I thought that after the OG chapter, 2023, that finally people would see that, okay? Did your life magically become better when the OG season was happening? Probably not. You probably had a momentary experience of happiness and nostalgia and good feelings for a little while, but then you realized, wow, my life still miserable. So guess what? This misery you're living in is because of you, not because of Fortnite or the state of Fortnite or any of the changes. I promise this is a positive video and I want you to grow from this and learn from this. Hear me out. When you were playing chapter one, season one, season two, season three, old school, even in chapter two, your life was most likely a lot easier. You were probably still in high school or still in college, didn't have a lot of responsibilities, but through the years, you've gained more responsibilities. You had to get a job, you had to get a full-time job. You started a family, things happened, things got hard, okay? And you didn't have enough time to dedicate to Fortnite anymore. Fortnite was an escape for you. It was a fun thing that you went to with your friends. You could dedicate hours and hours and hours grinding, learning the new mechanics of the game, learning the new weapons, learning the new styles, whatever learning the new mythics, but then life happened. And you didn't have the time anymore to dedicate to the game, to learn all these new things. So you became frustrated. You used to not be able to go a day without playing Fortnite. You were looking up all the new strategies, all the new tips and everything. And now you could maybe log in once a week. And so all the new changes are actually frustrating you because you don't have time to adapt to them. So you started winning less, losing more. Fortnite has always just been a game. It was always just a pastime for you to have with your friends. It was not the source of your happiness. Your life was easier back then. You took on a lot of responsibilities. Your life is no longer as easy. Every time you log in now, you expect to get that same sense of joy and you're not getting it anymore because you're bogged down by life. It's not, it has nothing to do with the state of Fortnite. Fortnite has always changed every season drastically, for better or worse. That's how the game is. And you used to like that. You used to love dedicating time to learning the new strategies, the new tips, the new mythics, the new whatever. But now you don't have time to dedicate to the game anymore. So rather than these changes being new and exciting, they're frustrating because you can't master them. So you're Wins go down, your losses go up. And it becomes a source of frustration for you because of time, which really isn't your fault. You just don't have time to dedicate to the game anymore. You had more time back then. You don't have that. Anymore. Another thing is that because of your full-time job, your full-time family, life and responsibilities, physical ailments, mental ailments, you look into the past, and you think, wow, why can't we just go back to that time? Why can't we just go back to season one, season two, season three? Life was so much better back then. But that's because you had less responsibilities, okay? By the time chapter two happened, chapter three happened, you had to get a job, you went to college, you graduated college, you started a family, okay? A lot of things are causing you stress now that weren't causing you stress back then. It has nothing to do with the game. 
but you take it out on the game. And you're saying, if only things could go back to the way they were in season two, then I would be happy. Well, guess what? They did. They introduced OG Fortnite in 2023. Did your life magically get better? Maybe momentarily you felt a sense of nostalgia and excitement, but didn't that fade quickly? So now with the release of this new permanent game mode, I hope that you will finally see that Fortnite is not the source of your misery or your happiness. It is simply just a game that is supposed to be a pastime that's supposed to bring joy to your life. It does not control the overall state of your happiness or misery. Your life will not get better, your life will not get worse, depending on the state of the game. So now, this is a permanent game mode. Old school, OG, old school weapons, old school maps, old school POIs. This is not an LTM, permanent game mode. So you can always go back to that. And you'll realize that your misery is not being erased because of the state of Fortnite. Because now forever, you can warp back in time to how things work. Are you gonna stop complaining? And so the point of this video is not to attack you or get down on you. It's for you to realize that only you are in control of the state of your happiness and the state of your misery. What can you do to better your life, better your circumstances? Are you having money issues? Are you having physical health problems, mental health problems, family life problems? Let's start pinpointing where your frustration and misery is coming from. And then let's start, let's, let's work on that one thing at a time. Whatever it is, it's not Fortnite. I guarantee you that. But you're taking it out on Fortnite. So all of this being said, what changes are you going to start making to your life to make it better? Fortnite should always be a source of joy. And if it's not, it's your decision to put the controller down, put the keyboard and mouse down. You don't have to play it. Honestly, I want you to be happy. And I also want you to stop complaining. So you get OG Fortnite forever. So play that for a little bit, and then let's start looking at what's really the cause of the problems in my life. And how can I begin to better this situation? Like and subscribe for more.